Hey, how's it going, guys? Another film study video for you all. This time, we're going to be taking a look at Ricardo El Finito Lopez, who was undefeated in 51 professional fights and is actually my favorite Mexican fighter of all time. This guy had incredible technical gifts. I mean, he's one of the most technically gifted fighters I have ever seen. Um, the skill, the precision, the ability to control your opponent, the ability to control distance. This guy had everything, measuring distance with range. So we're going to break down some of his skills in this fight versus Alex Sanchez. And uh, so first and foremost, thanks once again for subscribing and for watching my channel so much. Thanks, guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is this is Ricardo Lopez. I know you've just seen a picture of him, but for anybody wondering, he's the slightly taller one. And this is him highlighted here. This is Ricardo Lopez. So this is who you should be paying very close attention to. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is Lopez's use of the lead hand. Now, Ricardo Lopez used his lead hand to measure his punching range or his distance from his opponent to occupy or distract his opponents. And of course, as a blinding mechanism or a blinding device to momentarily obstruct the field of view of his opponent. So we're going to take a look at this in the fight. See, so he uses his lead hand. And again. So notice the flinch or the reaction which Sanchez makes by moving his head slightly to his right after Lopez shows the lead hand. Lopez picks up on this little behavior of Sanchez and uses it to adjust his straight right hands later on in the fight. This is why it's good to you make use of feints early and to make use of the lead hand early because it allows you to pick up on discrepancies and behaviors of your opponent which you can actually counter uh, in the fight. And also it allows you to pick them up early so that you can test them later on in the fight. He's getting it in. Ricardo's getting it in with his. So as you can see, Sanchez sets up to shoot a left hook down to the body. Ricardo Lopez watches him very closely, and Lopez will show us why controlling your opponent's aggression is absolutely crucial. A quick point: Sanchez is very defensively responsible to hold the phone with his right hand as he shoots this as he attempts to shoot this left hook. Great from both fighters. So Lopez catches the left hook using his right arm. Pay close attention to Lopez's left arm, however, because as you can see, he begins to control Sanchez's head in a similar style to Muhammad Ali, who would control your head and push down on your head to make you off balance and to stop your aggression. Absolutely brilliant from Ricardo Lopez. And so once again, champions must control their opponents. I simply cannot stress this enough. If you control your opponent, you're going to limit their offense. Lopez makes use of head control to absolutely prevent Sanchez from being able to continue his offense. And so Sanchez is forced to reset. Brilliant boxing. And now we're going to look at the jab to the body. Is it just a coincidence that the best fighters in boxing always made use of the jab to the body? I don't think so. The jab to the solar plexus halts forward aggression. It can take the wind out of your opponent and it breaks the fighter's rhythm. It is also used to set up more powerful shots down the line in the fight. So let's take a look at what he does off the jab. As you can see, the jab to the body causes Sanchez to drop his guard ever so slightly, and this allows Ricardo Lopez to sneak a left hook to the side of the head. Lopez was exceptionally good at sneaking left hooks behind the guard of an opponent. He was also a master of the left and the right uppercuts as well. Beautiful technique. So a little bit of showboating from the great Ricardo Lopez. When you've drilled the fundamentals and mastered the basics and honed your skills in a boxing gym such that you're supremely confident in your abilities, it becomes easy to show off in the ring. Lopez is simply having fun, much like when Floyd Mayweather smiles in the ring or when James Tony <laughs> would uh, talk to the announcers at ringside. So you're going to see a faint there and he faints again. After the little feints by Ricardo Lopez, Sanchez is going to shoot a left hook down to the body. Lopez watches him very closely and knows to simply counter the hook with a left, uh, very short left uppercut up the middle. He will now display his defensive responsibility by using distance to evade the following right hand. Because of course distance is defense. So you see him avoid that right hand with distance, just stepping back. He just goes right back to boxing. He knows it'll come. Yes. So Lopez lands this right hook to the body and once again will display why controlling your opponent is absolutely key. Um, champions must control their opponents. This is something which I say all the time because off of control, 
you can begin to continue your offense and limit theirs. So there you see after catching the left hook, Lopez uses his left glove to perform head control. Champions don't take return fire. And this is why Lopez uses the head control to position Sanchez's head for a right hand. So this is just brilliant technique here, using head control to set up an, your offense. So he's going to shoot this right hand there, and he misses the right hand. Now you see him step back. After missing the right hand, Ricardo Lopez understands that distance is defense. So he simply steps back to avoid the counter left hook. As he steps back, you will see that Lopez begins to circle off to his right by making use of the bounce step. He is not just stepping back in a straight linear line. Instead, he steps back at an angle to his right using the bounce step. Great boxing, outstanding. Outside at this range and beat Lopez. He can't do it. He, Lopez, look at how he punches. Look at the leverage he gets. Okay, so now you're going to see Lopez slip this jab to the outside. This sets Ricardo Lopez in a position to shoot a counter right hand over the extended left arm of Alex Sanchez. Lopez will shoot this right hand and follow up with a left hook. He is going to miss both, both of those punches and then proceed to show us why champions must control their opponents. So you see he missed those punches there and he misses left hook. As you can see, Lopez has just missed this left hook due to good defensive work by Sanchez. Take note of the fact that Lopez will not bring his left arm back to his head. Instead, like a champion, he will control his opponent. Champions must control their opponents because return fire is simply unacceptable. So now we're going to see him control. Lopez uses his left forearm to control Sanchez's arms and his head. By controlling Sanchez, he prevents a counterpunch from Sanchez, which allows Lopez to shoot this right uppercut. Simply outstanding boxing from Ricardo Lopez. See how he almost drops him with that right uppercut there as well. Okay, so now we're going to see this beautiful one two combination there. Steps in, left hook, and then control. After the left hook, Lopez once again uses his left forearm to control Sanchez's head. By using head control, Lopez is able to set up the right hook to the body, which you're about to see. I simply cannot stress this enough. Champions must control their opponents because using control allows you to make sure that you don't take return fire. And there's a the right hook to the body right there. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to stop the video right here. Uh, Ricardo Lopez, my favorite boxing, Mexican boxer of all time. And uh, thanks for watching this video. On to the next one. I could analyze this guy for days, by the way. Thanks again, guys. On to the next one. Not just boxing, this is making a statement. Left cut off the combination, and down goes Sanchez again for the second time of the fight. Four, five, six. And he staggers seven, around. He's in eight. tremendous, tremendous I don't trouble. Know. That's, that's, it, that's okay. it, that's it, that's, that's it. it. It's over. That's They've it. stopped it. That's it. After the second. He's the winner by way of technical knockout. He is the new unified WBC and WBO 105 pound champion and still undefeated Ricardo Lopez. That's right. That's right. Montana.